Hello guys, this is me on my World of Lego, and I have another car to show you today. This car is the Citroën DS Servals. So I'm going to be showing you all the features that are in this car, and then I'm going to be talking about how I built some of the parts. So let's get to it. The first thing I'm going to be talking about is the doors. So Usually on my cars, I have butterfly doors, normal doors or something. But in this car, this is the first car, I have scissor doors. That is the first one. And then the second one opens like that. To see it from front view, here is it. You see those two doors open. And you can close them. And they just fit like that. And... When you saw me closing the doors and opening them, I did this, then this. That's because if I just opened them, it would hit this back part over here. So that's why I did that. Another feature is that you can this wing twist. So you can rather have it here or you can have it here. And as you can see, it's a little forward than before. Here is it right now, and then here is it right now. And then this is the spoiler. As many of you know, the Citroën Servalt is a concept. Now, now I also made an interior that looks like a concept. These are the interiors that I, I have most of my concepts. So, here is the interior. It's this red, some white. The big infotainment system, some of the things you see on most of my cars. And now it's time to show you how I built some of the parts of this car. Starting with the front grille. So as you can see, there, there is this, yeah, at the front there are the lights and the, this front grille here. Now, on the real Citroën servo, there is this little grille going around here. And then. These two spikes, there are these two spikes going over here, but there's only one in this car. But I'm, anyway, I'm still going to show you how I built it. So to show you that, I'm going to take this off. So first, you have the slopes and then a plate under. And then now I want to talk about this. Now, this is not actually a real Lego piece. This is just a Lego piece that sort of fell off another so it's not a real Lego piece it's just that we had it so that is the the black part in this girl as for this part there are two there's a 1x4 plate that this was on top of so that is the story behind the Citroen logo and then you have these lights over here. Now as you can see from this view, they slant. And that was done by connecting the clip here like that and then having this eyelet that sort of goes in and has this hole in it. So that is how the lights are done. And now it's time to talk about the back of this car. Here is the back, specifically how I made the lights and generally the parts of this back. So now I'm going to take all of this off. And now you can see how I built these parts. So I am going to take this part out. Okay, so here are the lights. So they are connected by this little piece here that has these two holes in it. And then... The lights just fit like that. Now, once again, if you just want to see it in full, here's how it looks. Now, I want to spend some time to talk about the design of this car and the design of the real car. So, uh, so on the real car, you have this shape that just goes up here and then just up like that. So, I have that on this car. And then also these wheel arches. I have this shape over here and then it goes up, that little hump, and then it goes 
down like that. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification bell. Thank you.